Fantastic. I'll put you on the guest list. Yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. You're not happy to see me? You know, I've got nothing to say to you, and you've got nothing that I want to hear. What if it's about Dusty? I never should have listened to you. Your plan turned out to be completely juvenile, and it didn't work. So next time you have a great idea, why don't you keep it to yourself? It wasn't fun steaming up the back of a surveillance van yesterday? Three words for you. Pointless, immature, prank. All right. Can't blame me for you, you know, not being able to take advantage of a perfectly good situation. I took advantage of plenty, good, Dusty. Oh, well, you see, there you go. That's Doesn't the moment. Doesn't matter how naked we got or what you and I do, he's still going to wind up with Rose. That's a fling. It's a, it's a temporary thing. Because they don't, they don't belong together. The dream is over, Paul. Let it go. You're the one who's in denial. Yeah, it's time you faced up to your own nasty little reality. And what would that be? You're in love with Dusty Donovan. And what I'm doing with Dusty, what I was doing with Dusty has got nothing to do with love. Right. You are so damn infuriating, you know that? What we had, it was fun, but it's over. And there's nothing more to it than that. You keep telling yourself that. Is that part of your morning routine? You say it to yourself every morning when you wake up? Do you say it to yourself every night before you go to sleep? We're partners. That's it. Partners. Partners. So the guy takes a small fortune from you, puts your life in danger, and then, as if that's not enough, he dumps you for another woman. So what do you do? You give him another small fortune, and then become partners with the guy. You know? Anybody who would spend that much time and energy and, and, and money on a guy who's pulled you in so many different directions, it can only be love. You've got it bad for that guy. You know the first thing about me. About what I want. Or about love, for that matter. So why don't you just shut up, stay out of it, and leave me alone? I'm only trying to help you. <laughs> help me what? Face the truth. You are way more into Dusty than you're willing to admit, even to yourself. Because I know firsthand what a waste of time it is to hide your feelings. You need to take control of this thing before it controls everything about you. Go to Dusty. Show him how you feel. So Rose is free to run back into your ever-loving arms? I'm done with charity work. So what if going after Dusty is, is good for me? That's just like a, an interesting bonus. You need to focus on why going after Dusty is good for you. Give me one good reason. Because it'll make you happy. And Molly, when was the last time you were really, truly happy? You're home. Uh, you know, I was just about to make some tea. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have mine without arsenic. That's not fair. Not fair? You give me the silent treatment for weeks and now all of a sudden you're gonna offer me a cup of tea well i i didn't expect that our little cold war was gonna be going on indefinitely look jen when i paid andre to skip town no, I no talked what you to did him. was wrong oh. fine but but andre was a first-class dog and i'm lucky that you were looking out for me it's really all i was doing you know so maybe we can find a way to put all this behind us if you promise to never, and I repeat, never interfere in my life in that way again. This little about face wouldn't have anything to do with your little visit with Dusty, would Dusty? Yeah. Dusty. So I'm driving away in that ridiculous car of his just as I pulled up. That doesn't, that doesn't have anything to do with it. What Jen, I know he was here. I just don't know what he was doing here. I invited him. Why? So that I could tell him, face to face, that he's out of my life for good. Thinking, going after Dusty like that. I mean, actually, I was thinking the other night, he reminded me of someone. But I couldn't, I couldn't for the life of me, figure out who it was. And then I realized, he's the all-American version of Andre. Handsome, charming, attentive. And impossible to trust. So, after I realized that, it almost made it easy to kiss the whole thing goodbye. I'm impressed. Yeah. So, anyway, I just I just had to figure it out for myself, you know. 
And I realized that being friends with Dusty would just mean that things could end badly, and I really don't want that again. I really don't want things to be strange in our family. I want, I want a family again, Paul. Do you think maybe we could do that? Maybe we could start over? Paul? What's wrong? Don't, don't you believe me? No, not a word. I'm saying that for weeks you've been telling me that your love life is none of my business. And now... And now I'm telling you that maybe... Maybe I was wrong, okay? That maybe all this insight that you had into Dusty about his character and his history, that maybe I... I, I should have paid attention to you. Right. So you invited him over. Well, I, I was not about to go running after him to tell him that it was over. You couldn't call him? Send him an email? No. Because then he would have... He would have come over here to look for me, to convince me that I was wrong. No, no. It had to be done in person. Right. I don't know. Maybe I'm slow. I'm just having a hard time understanding why all of a sudden you decided that this guy wasn't worth your time. I told you. I started to see how much you reminded me of Andre, but it was mostly because of you, Paul. You've made it painfully clear that you don't want Dusty in our lives, and I am sick of arguing about it. I just... I want us to be happy. Happy? Yeah, no, I like happy. I'm, I'm a big fan of the happy. And I'll be happy as soon as you stop lying to me. Lying to you. I know I put a bug in Dusty's club, and by all rights, you should be furious with me because, because you told me to stay away from the guy. But for you to stand there and pretend that what you want is, is for you and me to be happy. I do. No, it, it's not what you want. Jennifer, tell me. Why was Dusty here? Because. Because you broke the law, you broke your promises, and Mom felt the need to come over here and tell me all about it, and, and, and I'm just sick of it. So I had two choices. I could leave and run after Dusty, or I could stay here and try to fix this stupid family, which meant telling Dusty to get lost. Nothing's gonna fix this stupid family, Jen. You know that. Well, I thought maybe that you and I could have a chance at being friends here for a minute. I'd like that. But friends, they tell each other the truth, Jennifer, and brother and sister, you know, there's not supposed to be anything more. I know, and I, I want that. So do I. Paul, I... I this confession that... What, what were you gonna say? No, no, you go ahead. Well, all right. I, uh, I have a confession to make. I didn't, um, I didn't bug Dusty's club to spy on you, even though I know that's what you think. I did it because uh, I've been lying to myself about something, something kind of crucial. Jen, I'm still hopelessly in love with Rose. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> I mean, D Dusty and I have... Dusty and you, what? Um, no, does, does Rose know about this? Dusty and you, what? Well, uh, just that we, we, of course, made the right decision. I mean, he's gonna be completely, you know, blown away by all this, and I definitely don't want to be in the middle of it, so... What? I don't know. You tell me. I just, I feel like you're hiding something. Why would I be hiding something from you? I've, I've told you. I've told you that I was attracted to Dusty. I told you I was attracted to Andre. And that doesn't mean anything. And being attracted to someone doesn't prove anything. I've chosen to end it. Just like that. Well, if you're suggesting that it was easy, it, it wasn't. I'm having a hard time myself believing that you made this quick flip-flop. Okay, this, coming from a guy who pretended to be dead and then changed his mind. Hey, I had my reasons. Well, I'm sorry if my reasons aren't good enough for you. Jennifer, I just need for you to be honest with me. I need for us to have a truth. You're the one person in the world who I need always to tell me the truth. 